everybody. We're back. We're very excited here. My first guest is a two-time Academy Award-winning actor. Not many times you can say that. He's now the writer, director, and star of the new movie Beyond the Sea, which earned him a Golden Globe nomination just yesterday. Please welcome Kevin Spacey. You know, I've had to follow a lot of things, uh, and now that I'm on the road uh, doing these concert tours, I, I certainly do see a lot of disgusting things on the road, but I think the bungee-jumping baby Jesus <laughs> on top of the barfing Kermit the Frog, it has to be really the most disgusting thing I've seen since Nick Nolte's mugshot. <laughs> And to top it off, they don't even, we're not even professional enough to clean the place no, I, up. I, I, That's what... I almost, two times. I almost slipped on my way out. That's what I love. It's <laughs> two-time Academy Award-winning actor, yeah. and we're telling him, be careful to avoid the yeah. Kermit vomit on the way out. I, mean, I, I think you... Really. There my should apologies. be some sense of dignity on a show like this, really. <laughs> That's the whole point. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Perfect. We like to lower the bar here and then see you limbo under it. That's what we like to do. <laughs> yes, well, I'm happy to come in limbo for you. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations, Golden Globe nomination. Just, you just found out yesterday. Yesterday morning, yes, very early in the morning. Uh, I, I was in Boston. Mm -hmm. We did a show in Boston, had an awesome time in Boston. Uh, and then, uh, shh, be quiet. They're hissing Boston. I heard them quietly hissing Boston. That was the Kermit deflating, I think. <laughs> Yeah. It's, or the baby Jesus. Yeah, the baby Jesus, one or the other. Uh, yeah. And uh, we had to get up pretty early in the morning, uh, and, you know, they, they announced them on television, and then it looked like they forgot the category that I was in completely. Right, right. She, she walked away, Mayor Savino, and then she came back, and I thought maybe there was some last-minute voting going on. Right. And, and you don't want to sweat that early in the morning. Right, right. But right. it was really terrible because not only was it the last category, but I was the last name that they said, and they'd already said one Kevin, and it wasn't mine. Kevin Klein was nominated as well. When they started to say Kevin Klein, there must have been a second where, you, where they said Kevin, and you're like, this is it, and oh, jumped I was, up. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> and, I don't uh, have that problem, because when people say Conan, I know that it's probably me. You know the Destroyer is coming next. <laughs> yeah. And the winner is Conan the Barbarian wins. <laughs> <laughs> and I get screwed. Uh, now, you've been living in, in London yes. for, for quite a while now, yeah. and uh, I'm, I'm curious if you miss being in America when you're there. Do you miss American culture? Do you feel like you keep in touch? I do keep in touch because you, you probably know this, but maybe your audience doesn't, that they run your show late at night, about 2, 3, sometimes 4 in the morning, depending on if there's an important sports program first. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, what kind of yeah. soccer, infomercial you know, is beating? Soccer or yeah. an infomercial. But right. anyway, you're on, so I, I get a chance to catch in with other disgusting nights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think this show represents really what's happening in America at any no, given time. No, but it does represent what's happening inside your head. And yeah. I think that <laughs> alone keeps you in touch. In touch. We're in America. <laughs> now, I saw they were kind enough uh, to get me a tape of Beyond the Sea, which I watched last night, and I really enjoyed it, And because I did not know much about Bobby Darren's yeah. life. So I was really excited to see this movie and, and to find out so much about him, and it's a great story. And then I found out afterwards that you shot it in Germany. Yes, we shot the movie in Berlin, a film that takes place in the Bronx, Beverly Hills, and Las Vegas. <laughs> we shot in Berlin. <laughs> It, it, I actually, it's, it's a little town called Potsdam, mm -hmm. which is where I lived. Mm -hmm. um, and I only found out as I was driving away after having lived there for three months that Potsdam, spelled backward, is absolutely mad stop. <laughs> you must have been incredibly bored when you were... <laughs> yeah, that was what I figured out on the way out. <laughs> Berlin is neural lib. Yeah. <laughs> When you start doing that, when you start doing that a lot, you know that you're. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I was busy. I was shooting most of the time. I had a, I had a really I, a remarkably great time there. Um, Did, are you working with, was, was the crew uh, German? Did... Half German, half UK, because it was a UK-German co-production. Right. Uh, and then a lot of people from Lithuania. Oh. Don't know why. Yeah. They were just yeah. there. Uh, <laughs> couldn't understand anything. And in fact, we had a, a, I had to have an interpreter when we were, for example, I was directing the extras who were in all the club scenes, because we had like hundreds of extras. I would say to the second AD, who was German, I'd say, all right, I want that woman right there to move over there, drop the glass, and then keep walking. And he would then talk to this woman for about seven minutes. <laughs> because the German language uses more words than are humanly possible mm -hmm. <laughs> to say, take that glass over there. So he'd go, Von ich lef neben dem Mund, der klappt und der trinkt in die Blatt, und der blöckt und der geht auf den Mund. Und schlug in den Bund, der wagt in den Mund. Und flog in den Mund, der wagt in den Mund, der flog in den Mund. Und flog in den Bund, der schlägt in den Mund. Ganz scheiße, der Mund, der da. Holz, denk dir da. What the hell are you saying? Uh -huh. Move the glass. Yeah. <laughs> He was probably sneaking something else in there, too. You never I, know. I suspect. He's probably, you know, scoring. Uh -huh. getting, getting a day. <laughs> you will go out with me now! Uh, <laughs> you're doing this, uh, you're doing a concert tour. Uh, the singing in this movie is you. Yes. And you do a fantastic... I didn't, well, I, I didn't know that. I'm watching it, and I just assumed that these are... It was Bobby's This track, is Bobby yeah. Darren, and uh, it's you singing, and uh, obviously an amazing voice. You're, you're touring now. I am. You're doing, are you doing, like, jokes and impressions and things in the show? I am. I, I mean, essentially, I'm not trying to be Bobby Darren out there because Bobby Darren was one of a kind. Mm -hmm. and, and although I'm trying to be him in the movie, in the, in the concerts, I'm just being myself, and I'm having a blast. And, yeah, I do, I do lots of little comedy bits. I, do, I don't have the baby Jesus yet, <laughs> but it's we do very... have Vegas to look forward <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. It's very portable, if you'd like to yeah. borrow. No, what, what, what Bobby Darren did in his act was he used to do impressions. He was a really great impressionist. And so, since I do impressions, I've updated one of the songs that he used to do, which was the old classic number, One for My Baby. Mm -hmm. And I've updated it, so I do the actors that I like to do, as well as a couple that he did as well. Mm -hmm. So I, I do Walken and Lemon and people like that. Can we hear just an example? Is it's squad of the three. There's no one in the place except <laughs> you and me. <laughs> You and me, <laughs> sat on my jaw, I've got a little story I think you should know. <laughs> Very nice. Not as good as Frog no, Mark, I realize. That took actual talent. But but we, don't use, we don't do that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> and now, uh, Beyond the Sea, we have a, a clip here yeah, from Beyond the Sea. You have a clip uh, where Bobby Darren, maybe, maybe people don't know, he was nominated for an Academy Award in 1964 mm -hmm. as Best Supporting Actor in a film called Captain Newman, M.D. with Gregory Peck mm -hmm. and Angie Dickinson. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, hello, Angie. Uh, and uh, I know her personally. That's why I sent her a hello. <laughs> but how do you know she's watching? <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah, Fine. sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, show the, show the damn Oscar clip, will you? Melvin Douglas. That's huge. I talked to you during the clip. Yeah, you did. I was just saying, uh, talking to you, that you find this out in the movie, but I didn't realize Bobby Darren played so many instruments and, he, and, and wrote a lot of the songs. He, or he was them. probably one of the greatest entertainers we've ever had. He not only wrote his own songs, he did these impressions, he danced, he played the vibes, the congo, the drums, the piano, the guitar. He was just an extraordinary entertainer, and I've done a movie that isn't a conventional biopic at all. It's a real celebration mm -hmm. of this guy, and I had the time of my life making it, and I'm now having the time of my life being a rock star on the road. That's got to be a lot of fun. And you had to... You... <laughs> hey! Hey! That's what rock stars do. God, what the hell was that? That's what rock stars do. Now we're going to... No! Oh, no! Wow. We are going to have to go back to Sears and get another set. Thank you. Uh, Beyond the Sea opens Friday in New York and L.A. <laughs> Expanding nationwide yeah. December 29th. You want to go? The movie soundtrack. Let's go. You want to go? Come on. You want to go?